Hey guys, sorry it's been a while since we put up any videos. The uh, weather's been real miserable here lately. It's been pouring rain. We got like 20 some odd inches in 15 days this past month. And so I just hadn't had a chance to hunt too much. Work's been crazy too. But uh, what we're doing today is I'm over here at Will's property. I've got Tuff and Nick's in the truck with me. I brought some corn. We're going to go ahead and top off the feeders I've got on the property here. They hadn't had any feed them in months. So um, I need to get Tuff and Nick's on some fresh coon track. And then Miss Nightlife here, Kaylin, she's got JJ that she needs to get on some good track too. So we're going to just uh, let the pups run loose, have some fun. We're going to fill up feeders. We're going to have fun and just kind of get out and enjoy the weather a little bit. So it is a little warm, but uh, it's going to be fun. All right, guys. Appreciate you tagging along with us. We'll uh, give you all a little update on the pups. All right, guys. So we got our corn, and uh, I've also got this MWD Outdoors. It's called Hashtag Corn Row. Uh, they make this to put in corn and stuff for pulling hogs and deer. But um, state of North Carolina, I can't put it in with my corn, but I can put it in the area around my feeder. So that's what I've been doing. It really helps to draw the coons in. But uh, we also got our Tech 2.0. We're going to go ahead and collar up the dogs. We're going to let them just run loose, but I will make sure they got a collar on them. Just in case something happens, I will be able to find them um, for whatever reason and uh, get some used to wearing the collar too. So we'll go ahead and get Nick's out. Come on, little girl. Come on, girl. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Let me get this off of here. Hot down here. That's a good girl. Good girl, come on. Good girl. Come on. Ah, on. ah you tough, man. Come on, tough. Come on, son. Come on. Come on. Come on, tough. Grab our corn and we're gonna head toward the feeder. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? <laughs> Come on, guys. That ain't gonna trip me up. Come on. We're gonna head on down here to the feeder. Come on, Tuff. Tuff's aggravating her, ain't he? What are you doing, Tuff? This place looks a lot different in daylight. You good back there? Yeah. Looks like something just jerked my feeder down. Had no feet in it. Long time though. Something's pulled this line down too. That's the time my feet are back up. opportunity to uh, show you a knot that I just learned the other day. 
Um, if you're using paracord, just go ahead and take the one end, tighten a complete knot like this, and then right on the other side, hey Nick's girl, just go ahead and tie you another knot about an inch or so back and leave it kind of loose like that. Take your other end, run it through the loose end right here, put your feeder where you want it, and then as you do this right here, that tightens up against this, and that thing's just like, watch out, needs a girl. That's just like a zip tie. That right there will not come loose. So, there we go, guys. We got our first feeder where we want it. We got Nick's playing around. Tough man has been messing around with Nick's. I don't know if y'all can see this. And he bit his tongue. Poor fella. So, hot, ain't it? We're gonna go over here to another feeder we got it's right on the side of the creek. Give them a chance to cool down a little bit. Oh yeah, one more thing. Forgot, we got the uh, WMD outdoors corn row. We're just gonna take some of this and square it around, square it around. Not putting it in my feeder. What do you think about it? I'm pouring sweat in. Alright, we're going to head to the next feeder. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. So over here at our second site, getting ready to go fill the feeders. Good boy. Earlier, we didn't film it when we got to the truck. Nick's actually tried to jump in the truck. She couldn't make it, but she actually tried. So, all right, grab this corn. My feeder I got over here is a lot smaller. So, I don't actually need to pull back corn. This parcel should work. So. Come on, pup. Come on. All right, guys. If the dogs will let me, I'm gonna show y'all again how to do this knot. I uh, reviewed the footage, and uh, I didn't show the angles too good earlier. So basically, to tie this knot, um, it's super simple. You tie the end in right here, solid. I mean, that, that knot is nice and tight. And then you step back just a couple inches and you tie another knot, but you leave it loose just like that. Then you take the end, you run it through here, pull up your slack best you can. And of course, you want it over here because you're getting ready to draw it. And you see, as I draw this, make sure you keep that out. It will tighten around that right there. And you just basically pull on it like you would a zip tie. And the way that knot right there slid down to that one, that thing's locked in there. It won't go nowhere. You'll have to cut this rope to get loose. So um, hope that guy helps y'all out. Uh, if you're putting up feeders, use a little bit of paracord. Um, all you need is one and you're good to go. Unless the coon comes up here and chews on this and cuts it, it ain't going nowhere. So we'll go ahead and uh, fill the feeder. Hey buddy, hey buddy. Let me pop off this thing. I haven't had any feed in this in months either. Um, actually, I put food in this with Will and Matt. And never did actually hunt on it, so. But it looks like coons were on it, but I never even come over and hunt on it, so. I'm gonna pull it back up.
I got more feed than it's gonna hold, so I don't feel like taking it to the truck. Got that tie on there, try to keep the water out. They get a little water in here, but no big deal. So now, I'm going to take the WMD Outdoors hashtag cornrow, and we're just going to squirt it around the area. Can't put it in, in our feeder, North Carolina, but you know so That's all we're doing, guys. Got the feeders full, got the dogs out, let them uh, do some exercise. So. We're going to mount walk them down the creek. So evidently, Caitlin's feeling sorry for tough. <laughs> She's carrying him. You know it's going to ruin my dog, right? Oh, uh, oh well. <laughs> of course, they're going to drink the nastiest water in Polk County. Ew. Come on, guys. That clean water at the truck. Hey, you know, you're muddy and nasty. <laughs> Pick him up and carry him now. No, Come on. No. Got some pretty, pretty Polk County mud all over <gasps> Come on. Pick him up. You got his feet see dirty. All right, spider webs. We're gonna walk them down here to the creek and I'm get some good fresh water. See if we got any coon tracks on the creek. Talking about a den tree. I've hunted this place a hundred times or more. I've never seen that tree. Never treated on it either. Tough. It's amazing what you see in the daytime. I've never seen that tree before. That'd be a heck of a den. Come on guys, let's get some water. Let's get some water. Come on. That girl. Get in there. We'll get you something to drink, Tuff. <laughs> She's like, come on, Tuff. Let's go do something. Tuff's like, nah. I'm a sissy. I'm not tough. I'm the sissy boy. <laughs> tuff, you need to get in the water. Wash yourself off. Hey, you see any coon tracks? No. Alright guys. I want y'all to check out these. I know you guys have probably seen them. These amazing nightlife shirts. Look at there. Turn around. But bam Show the flag. Bam! Show the guns. Bam! <laughs> We're thinking about uh, selling these nightlife shirts, so if you guys show any kind of interest, do me a favor right now, stop what you're doing, go down to the bottom of the video, click like, and comment that you would be interested. If we get enough people to seem like they're interested in these shirts, we will put them into production and be selling them. So go ahead and click like, comment that you're interested in the shirt, and while you're at it, go ahead and share this video with your friends. Post it on uh, Facebook or something. More views, more likes, and the more shares we get, the better. We got Battle Royale right here. 
Of course I didn't have my camera out and they were chasing each other all over the woods. Nick's is fast and tough. He don't like it. He goes for her ear and she goes for his soon to be boyhood. Tough! Quit that! You're going to hurt her ear. Maybe she might get mad and just put him in his place. A little tip here, guys. This is the reason why you don't hunt pups together. We was out hunting right now. All they'd be doing is playing. They would not be going off with hiding, doing any kind of hunting. So, tough! Quit that! Man, you get rough on her ear. Tell you what. We got the Tech 2.0 out. He goes pulling on her ear. I'm going to tone him. See what he does. Uh-oh. That tone made him quit, didn't it? He's a little dirty bird. Tuh. All right. Well, I think Nix has cooled off good. She got soaking wet. <laughs> so we're going to head back to the truck, guys. It's hot. I got some fresh water. We'll put it in the bowls for these dogs. I am pouring a sweat. It's humid. Got our feeders out. Got some dog exercise. It's been a good day. What do you think, Kate? Yeah. You gotta look right here. <laughs> there you go. Look at the people. Don't look at me. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. They're going off to play. Where'd y'all go? Where'd you go? All right, guys, I don't know if y'all know, but we're seeing, but Tough is about to give Nix's ear a big fit, so might end up shocking him. Yep. Give him a little tickle. Tough. Tough. Stop it. Tickled him on four there, guys. Tough. Quit it, son. Hate to do it to you, but you gotta quit eating on her ear. You're gonna hurt her. <laughs> Scared you, didn't it? Didn't it, buddy? You didn't know what to think of that, did you? <laughs> and you have fun. Just don't be ripping her ear off. It's always good to have a good shocking system. Yeah, we just talking guys with JJ, Caitlin's dogs. He's getting meaty. Looking more like a young man dog, ain't he? Yeah. Tough, what you doing, son? Come on. So we're trying to encourage them to load up on their own. So we put some water in a bowl. Come here, guys. Hey, want some water? Want some water? Want some water? Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Go ahead and help him up. Good boy. You get the water. Come on. Come on, baby girl. Good girl. Good girl. Better up. Better up. Good girl. Now let's help her up. A girl. So, doing that, guys, through repetition. They put their feet up there. We'll help them up there. They're not, uh, they may not be quite big enough to jump up in there on their own yet. So, we help them up, but we keep doing that once we know that they're big enough to jump in there on their own. Then we'll uh, start pushing them to do it on their own. So, all right, guys. So, we got the dogs out tonight. And, uh, did you have fun? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. You don't have much to say, do you? All right, guys, so, yeah, we got dogs out tonight. We got two feeders put up. Uh, put the WMD hashtag corn row around our corn, uh, full of corn in the feeders. Pups got to get out, walk around, put them on a creek, uh, let them see some water, check for coon tracks. Of course, we didn't have any coon tracks, but uh, 
hopefully within the next week i will be getting back in the woods and we'll putting these dogs in here and putting hide in here we'll have some coon and get you guys some tree dog action i know it's been a while i apologize things just uh with work and stuff like that it's been been rough the weather's been terrible too yeah. yeah we've had tons of rain and uh the humidity is about to kill this fat boy so but anyway we're gonna try for it i hope you guys enjoy this video at least you got to see a little update on the pups they're six six months old something like that they're doing really good nick's is a little more serious uh tough seems to want to play around a little more than she does yeah yeah that's it huh? just yeah yeah <laughs> you want to wave by or anything all right guys appreciate y'all tuning on if you hadn't already click like subscribe Besides the subscription button, there's a little bitty bell symbol. If you'll click that, that'll give you notifications for my next videos. And in the meantime, guys, tree one for me. Appreciate it.